when the leaves are just starting to turn and fall from the trees, there's no more beautiful place to come than the Wye Valley. And we've arrived here this morning to find the river cold and clear in these conditions. If I had one bait to turn to, to try and get a bite from a barbel or a chub in the daytime, it would be maggots. The first thing I did when I arrived this morning was get a steady stream of maggots falling through the swim to try and build the fish's confidence. The plan seemed to work and a flurry of chub came to my net quite quickly. They got bigger and bigger in size as, as the bites came further and further down the swim. I just had a, a bite down the bottom of the run and I really thought that this was a barbel but it isn't. It's a much better chub. Oh yes, that's a better one. I was beginning to wonder whether or not the cold weather had actually put our chances of a barbel back when at the end of a trot the all important bite came and I'm pleased to say it was the one that we were waiting for. This one feels a bit better, it's moving quite a bit of water. It hasn't torn off downstream, but now it's just holding position in the flow. Oh, yes. I think it's finally beaten. Well, we weren't expecting one of these today with the cold temperatures, but we've been very lucky and we've managed to get one on the float. When I found out Drennan were going to be releasing the range of specialist rods, I was really excited. I knew that they'd be versatile and perfect for a lot of the fishing situations I find myself in. The latest addition is a pound and a half test curve version, which comes in 11 and 12 feet lengths. Each rod comes with two tip sections, a pound and a half Ave on top, and also a quiver tip section, which accommodates the three and four ounce carbon quiver tips. Cast up well upstream, and we're just going to let out a nice bow in the line to help that feeder hold bottom. The flow will pick up all of the slack, and we'll still be fishing a tight line, but it just means that there'll be less pressure on the line dragging the feeder out of position. Massive drop back, <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> And we're into another barbel. Well, that didn't take long. First cast in this swim. We've been introducing a bit of maggot and hemp via the feeder. And we've had a bite within five minutes. Well, that didn't take very long. First cast on the maggot feeder. Just goes to show we're in the right place. Let's slip it back, see if we can get another one. That was a drop back. <laughs> That's the beauty of a carbon tip. <laughs> There's no mistake in that. <laughs> Put up a fantastic fight. Really gave that one and a half pound test curve rod a thorough workout. 
but it shows there's only going to be one winner. Another Woi Warrior. We've had a fantastic day today on the River Woi. The light's just starting to go now, and rather fittingly, we've saved the best fish for last. We came here today to demonstrate the versatility of the new rods, and hopefully, by catching chub and barbel on both the float and feeder, we've done that. Time to get off home.